alleged contradictions in the Pentateuch. Could Moses have written the Pentateuch? Richard Simon Arguments Against the Mosaic Authorship Richard Simon 1638-1712 was a French Catholic priest and scholar known for his work in biblical criticism and textual interpretation. He is considered one of the early pioneers of biblical scholarship. Despite the controversy surrounding his work, Richard Simon's contributions to biblical scholarship laid the foundation for future scholars in the field. His historical critical approach to the Bible would later become more widely accepted. He is best known for his books, including Critical History of the Old Testament and Critical History of the New Testament, which were influential in the development of biblical criticism. He argued that scribes and prophets had made additions to the Torah. He is called the father of higher criticism. Richard Simon Non-Mosaic Passages These are the non-Mosaic passages already mentioned by Spinoza and Ibn Ezra. The Canaanites were in the land. He firmly believed this must have been written when the Canaanites were gone. Beyond the Jordan Another evidence that the writer was already in Canaan. Death of Moses Moses could not have written about his own death someone else did it. Before any king reigned over Israel. This could only have been written in the times of the kings of Israel. Laws written on stones. He argued that it is impossible to write all the laws on the stones. Moses wrote all the word. Moses did not write the whole Pentateuch or Torah. Hebron and Dan. He claimed Hebron and Dan were named after the conquest of the promised land. Richard Simon also took a new approach to the biblical text. He made a rigorous analysis of writing style of the text. Let's have an example that Richard Simon selected. It is taken from Genesis chapter 7. Verse 21 So all creatures perished. In verse 22 of all that was on the dry land died. In verse 23 So he wiped out every living thing and they were wiped out. Richard Simon observed these repetitions and he asked, Why would the writer repeat the same point just using slightly different vocabulary? And he came to the conclusion that these repetitious writing style are not from a single author or Moses. Another example of Richard Simon taken from Exodus chapter 31. Verse 14 Therefore you are to keep the Sabbath. In verse 15 there is a Sabbath of complete rest. In verse 16 So the sons of Israel shall keep the Sabbath. Richard Simon came to the conclusion that a single author would not use such kind of repetitions. His arguments for different authors. Let's have another example where Richard Simon where he saw an evidence of multiple authors. Genesis 1 verse 11 and 12 Then God said, Let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees on the earth bearing fruit according to their kind with seed in them. And it was so. The earth produced vegetation, plants yielding seed according to their kind and trees bearing fruit with seed in them, according to their kind, and God saw that it was good. In verse 12 the same points which are mentioned in verse 11 are repeated. Richard Simon wrote, It is probable that if only one author had composed this work he would have explained himself in fewer words especially in a history. Richard Simon says, The variety of the style we meet in the books of Moses seems to be a convincing argument that one in the fame man was not the author. Sometimes we find a very curt style and sometimes a very copious one, although the variety of the matter does not require it. Conclusion Is Richard Simon right that repetitious writing style is an evidence of multiple authors? Can explanations be given in favor of the Mosaic authorship and refute the arguments of Richard Simon? Can an analysis of Hebrew writing style shed light on the rationale behind these recurring repetitions? In the description of this video there are links to different small videos evaluating these arguments of Richard Simon in more detail.